Morning folks, Monday morning, we're in the brewery workshop. Gemma and I have just old crashed and put Finings adjunct into the three beers that we've got in tanks. So these should be ready to cask when they get down to temperature. I'm thinking maybe Wednesday, Thursday. So we'll get these bad boys filled up then. You can hear the chiller now working on overdrive. So you up in Dom do his own work. Right, so we're gonna go next door. We're gonna take the jet wash round. We're gonna get in the cellar and we're gonna absolutely gut the place and clean it up. And there's a big area where there's loads of spiders and mice and rats. And Abby's gonna clean that out, aren't you, chicken? Yeah, you are. You're gonna do the mice and spiders. Don't be scared. They're only they they only eat boys, not girls. Can Dom do that job? Yeah. All right. Can I keep a pet mouse? No. As I stand before you, in front of the dungeon of doom. So what the plan actually is today, I want to uh, get all of this cleaned out, get all of this room as well, another stock room, all cleared out and looking something like, because they are a bit of a mess. It just smells musty, this one's not too bad actually, but I want to get the cellar really clean and familiarise myself with the whole place. And I also want to install some new lighting in here, because as you can tell already, it's a little bit dark and dingy and this light switch on this wall is also dickered so that's something else i'm gonna have to sort out there's a cable hanging down here this roof this might have to come down they've changed the roof in the uh, cellar the ceiling or the floor i guess you might say from the upstairs so that looks like it's all kosher but in here this looks dodgy, the roof looks dodgy. I mean, it's probably gonna be fine. It's a stock room, isn't it? It's not the end of the world, but I've been upstairs in the kitchen and where the sink is, the floor feels a bit dodgy. These things that you find out when you move in, is it worth me bothering the landlord about it? Or do I just take the lino up, cut out the offending floorboard and stick some, uh, some new ones on? It's a sheet of ply, 20 quid, job done. Then I can crack on, so. We'll definitely inspect that today. Whether I'm going to remedy it or not is a different matter. And then lights in here for sure. And then of course, clean, clean the whole thing out. I think we were a little bit lucky because we seem to have inherited some cleaning bottles. I reckon after a jet wash and a good scrub down, they'll make useful items uh, for cleaning the lines. So it's probably worth investigating them. I know you meant to throw them out after a while for, because they're pressure vessels, but I'll probably not use them as pressure vessels. I'll probably just use it as an open one and use a flow jet pump to clean the lines. But we'll cross that bridge when we come to it. First things first, this light out and this LED in. That's the plan. There's the new strip light then. She's installed. She's a little beamer. I'm just eating a sausage and bacon sandwich from a shopping town called Bacon's. Say no more. Right, so I said, let's get this floor up. So, yeah, you feel it here. Oh, I'm not it. Oh, my. 
Cut it in the fucking foot. <laughs> <laughs> Stop! <laughs> <laughs> right, let's go to the front of the foot high enough. Stand it up. It probably wants to fall over. Do you want to put it against the back wall and then it's not in the way? That's alright. God, I can't believe the smell. How bad it stinks. So, that's sink out. We can get the liner up now. We've got half of it, it's been glued down. It's dirty in here though, fucking dirty. It does stink. It does stink. So I think because this draining board doesn't have a drainer on it, or any rebate on the edge, any water or anything on there, it's gonna run straight off. Down there, down there. And then it's been doing that throughout the history of the Istanbul restaurant by the looks of it. And all this water damage is because of an incorrect style of sink being installed. Look at the state of it. It stinks. And it stinks. And we can see that it, it's without a doubt as rotten and as mouldy as it comes. It's been finger jointed here, look. That's just the ply though. So we'll get, get this floor up, at least to this line here, where under there looks to be fine. It's just where obviously they've been pot washing. Scruffy gets, mate. So yes, day one of the restaurant renovations. So look what we found. Stuart and Gemma being up here working on this floor, as you can see, it's definitely rotten. So we've took it up. The joists underneath are perfectly fine now. In fact, if you look at them, the joists look new, almost. So I think it's just like years of water dripping on the floor that's been a problem. So all it's gonna cost me is half a day's work, or a day's work actually, and half a sheet of plywood and I think we'll get that sorted. Not really a big problem. I could bother the landlord. I think all I want to do though is just tell him that I've done a repair. Uh, I'm not really too fussed about asking him to do it for me. We've basically done it now. So I'm going to take you downstairs. We've also been uh, in the cellar with the jet wash. I've got pretty much most of the cellar cleaned actually. Looks pretty good in there now. The only problem that we've got is all the water's collected in this room, but there was a drain in that corner which I'm about to uncover. But if I take you into the cellar, this room cleaned up quite nicely. We've cleaned all the floor down. I think I'm going to put some red floor paint on the deck and that'll look fine. And then in here as well, it's brought these bricks up quite nice. I mean, never going to get them perfect, but I mean, let's face it, it's a damp, dingy cellar. All the water went down that soakway, that's what I said when it's full of marble or something, granite, I don't know. But the water's gone, there's no funny smells coming up, so I can only assume that that's connected to a a soak away. Still no light in that little cubby hole. A little bit of muck in that corner. But again, I think in here, I'm just gonna come in with some fans, get some air circulating, dry it out, and then uh, and then put some red floor paint down. I also opened up this little window. Here, look, say hello, Jan. There we are. So uh, I'm thinking we can blow air in through the doors and it should vent through these little windows and just vent back out that way. That's the plan anyway. So, uh, yeah, just have to measure this up and cover this soak away in the corner. And then we should actually have some type of wet floor so we can just come in here, hose down once a month and sweep it all out. So I'm really quite impressed. I managed to get down there, 
you see that? Just open that little hole up. Perfect. It's drained now. I don't think we're going to put in a wet floor per se, actually. Now on reflection, if I get it clean and keep it clean, and we don't spill beer, which we shouldn't be spilling beer, let's face it, then dust pan and brush, hoover, liquor paint once a year, should be good enough to make it look ship shape. Oh, it's been a long day. It's probably approaching five o'clock, I think. So we've got this down, the rotten floorboards are up. Solid as a rock now. So all we need to do now is match up the level where the other piece of line was uh, missing. Down here, just fucking hell. Just <laughs> trim this down, let's stand the knife. And then just pop a little piece of maybe, uh, I don't know, quarter inch ply, just to bring that up to the same level. And I think we'll be golden, but yeah. This is actually, way better than the original was. So can I have my chisel and stamina knife, please, Jan? Yeah, one of those, the big, well, I'll go for them. And I'll start tidying this up. Thanks. Oh gosh, folks. It's eight o'clock. Can't believe it. Absolutely stacked out. I've got a real thumping headache as well. So I'm just gonna go ahead and end the vlog here. Uh, the bloody glass washer's packed up at the pub, so that's another problem we've got to sort out. Uh, I managed to pull this it's uh, four line chiller out of the pub as well, so hopefully next couple of days we'll be able to have a look at that. See if we can get it running. It'd be handy if we can. And we've also uh, marked out on the floor where the bar and everything's going to be. So we marked out where we think we're going to have the bar. You can see it's pulled forwards a little bit. We've got a back bar running across as well. And there's depth here at the front. So we've got room here for fridges and a bit of a back bar going on there. Room down here for fridges. And then the plan is going to be, if you can see where I've put this tape on the top, We'll go five amp pull, five amp pull. This section here is going to have six cider taps. Then this section up here is going to have 14 keg lines. That's the plan. I can't guarantee it's going to happen that way, but that's the plan. So I'm going to wrap it up, folks. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully I'll shake this headache and uh, we'll pick up the vlog from there. We'll see you then.